Let's do two segments now from the dumb business decisions file. First, Medium is offering buyouts to everyone on its editorial staff as it shifts its focus from doing its own publications in-house to supporting independent writers a la on a platform. In other words, Medium is pivoting to a Substack-like model again. Because really, the news here is Medium is pivoting again for like the 10th time, quoting Motherboard. On Tuesday night, billionaire Medium CEO and Twitter co-founder Ev Williams sent an email to the entire Medium staff announcing that the company would like employees charged with doing journalism to feel free to quit and that the company would, in fact, be shifting away from professional journalism altogether. Quote, We are making some changes to our editorial strategy and leadership and giving a voluntary exit option to employees who would like to take a different path, Williams wrote. The move comes less than one month after all Medium employees, including the editorial unit, attempted to unionize and lost by one vote. Employees at the company say that journalists who work at Medium's nine publications were not the initial driving force behind the union, but were some of the most vocal supporters of it. In his email, Williams announced that the company's editorial strategy would be shifting away from a focus on publications, seeking to support some, quote, more focused, high-affinity publications, end quote, as part of focusing on, quote, supporting independent voices on our platform, end quote. Over the last several years, Medium, formerly a blogging platform, has invested heavily in hiring career journalists, writers, editors, and audience development experts to create professional publications with specific editorial missions. Those publications have published high-impact work over the years. For example, an investigation by tech publication 1.0 into a surveillance tech executive's attendance at KKK meetings led to his firing. The move feels in some ways to emulate parts of the individual-based strategy that Substack has championed in the past few months, offering to showcase individual writers and provide them with deals and some support. For now, that means, quote, identifying writers and offering them, quote, deals, support, editing, and feedback, end quote. So, wither publications like 1-0 that I quote from on the show all the time. Yeah, it looks like they're probably going away. And look, I am not a journalist. I respect journalism as a craft and a profession too much to ever claim that mantle. But this is, at this point, a complete crime against the profession of journalism, in my opinion. Medium was a blogging platform, then a publisher, then a writing platform, then a publisher again. Each time they pivot, in quotes, they jerk professional journalists and writers around, and frankly, no one should ever put up with that again. Ev Williams has been trying to find a business model for writing for 20 years, going back to his founding of Blogger. And in all this time, he still hasn't found a way to do it. I'm not saying it's an easy thing to do, but I am saying maybe no one should ever put their trust in Ev to do it ever again. In the meantime, of course, thanks to Twitter, Ev has become a billionaire. So either he has to go ahead and do the billionaire thing and just start subsidizing writers and journalists himself, or he should stop this experimentation because it's getting ridiculous. The word dilettante is considered a pejorative because it implies that your unseriousness can be harmful to others. And that's basically what I'm saying here. 